I have two daughters, three granddaughters and a grandson. Family means a, a lot to me, like the family circle. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, as much as I love my family, I have to say that that I love the, the wind, I love the sun, I love the earth, and I love the waters equally. Mm -hmm. You know, because to me, that's what makes sense. And because if, you know, without those things being healthy, the land, and the water, and the sun, all those things, they need to be healthy. Because if they're not, then our children will die, and, and we have to uh, really appreciate that, that connection. So I think that's who the Algonquin people were. They, they were a people who, were under, who understood what it was to be honorable, to be respectful. You know, for everything that was alive, they sang an honor song for it. They understood that whatever was placed there was placed for a reason by Creator. There was nothing that didn't serve a purpose. Hey, what's good, Sorel? Welcome to your day one announcements. We got something different going on for you today, guys. Isn't that right, Tessa? It sure is, Marina. We're going to spin the Wheel of Decisions. Whatever the spinner lands on, that will be the news we give you. Awesome. I'm excited. You have the first spin, Marina. Lit. <laughs> oh, why did I walk off? <laughs> Awesome. Anyone participating in International Festival Fashion Show is asked to meet today in room 127 at lunch. This is a very important organizi organizing meeting, so please attend. That's all models and fashion show for the International Festival. Attend an important meeting today, Tuesday, at lunch in room 127. All right, it's my turn. Ooh, in case you forgot, today for Spirit Week is Twin Day. Tomorrow is Sir Will Colors Day, and Thursday is Grade Pattern Day. And then Friday is Mathletes versus Athletes. Bop. Great. Okay, volunteer hours. Want to earn volunteer hours while enjoying your summer outdoors? The Royal City Soccer Club is looking for soccer camp volunteers. To apply online, visit www.royalsoccer.com or look at the volunteer, volunteer binder for contact information. <laughs> All right. Any students who are in Mr. Budgel's grade 11 or 12 photography classes last semester who want to attend the annual Montreal field trip on April 29th come to room 121 to pick up a permission form. Seats are going faster than the fastest shutter speed on an SLR ca cam camera. <laughs> that's room 121, Sir Will. Oh, that's, oh, yep. That's a beat. Weather. How about that weather, Kaylin? Hey. What's good, Sir Will? It is currently three degrees and partly sunny right now. Later today, it will be going up to 13 and still partly cloudy. Tomorrow, it's going to look like a low of two, still partly cloudy. And in the afternoon, it will be going up to 14. Our picture of the day was sent in by the legendary Robbie Blades. My boy Owen D. Dabbit on him. Send in your photos at Lori Live. That's all for me. Back to the desk. The desk. Ain't no desk today, though. Yeah, we standing. Spin that wheel, Tessa. Oh, we already got it. Okay. I already did it. Wow, I'm a little late. Anyway. So, sports. Just a reminder to the girls' rugby team that there will be a forwards practice on Wednesday morning. All forwards need to be there. Also, there, there will be a BAX practice on Thursday morning. Okay, others. So the spring session of Make the Cut is back. If you are a grade 12 student with a learning disability and or ADHD who are planning to attend a post-secondary institution, then please pick up a registration form for Ms. Nazam in the Blue Room. The full day session will be taking place at Algonquin College on Wednesday, May 4th. Lunch is included. The deadline is April 21st, so get your forms in ASAP. Also, if anyone is interested in fundraising for the youth in Attawapiskat, there will be a meeting today at the beginning of lunch in room 
209. That's room 209 at the start of lunch. This is a reminder of uh, the football practice today at 5.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. Sign-ups are on the boys' phys ed office door. We need the minimum of 10 people. The practice is for quarterbacks, running backs, and wide receivers. To those students who have already signed up, please check the office door before going home after school to make sure we have enough people to practice. You must have a signed permission form handed in prior to practicing. Oh, boy. <laughs> I wonder what it'd be. <laughs> oh. Okay, challenges. So play the Sir Will Solve for Songs challenge this week. Identify the names of your favorite songs from the mathematical clues to win $50 in Tim Horton gift cards. Answer sheets can be picked up in the main office and are due Thursday by the end of the day. Now we have an interview with Darcy and Dana about the play. So introduce you guys, yourselves, guys. Uh, so I'm Dana. I'm, I'm Darcy. <laughs> and I play Becky in the play. Uh, she's kind of the mix of the Karen and Regina George from Mean Girls in this play, so she's kind of the mean chick of the play. Um, I play Mackenzie. She's a psychopath that's kind of part of the rough crowd, so that's nice. <laughs> okay, awesome. So what, do you, what is this play all about, guys? So this play is a sci-fi apocalyptic theme. And it's about these teenagers get unexplained left alone, and uh, they kind of have these power struggles to find out who's going to like lead and stuff like that and figure out what's going on. Great. So how much, oh, when is it? Uh, so the show runs from April 20th to 22nd, so that's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then there's a matinee during period three and four, so you can all get out of class if you want to come. And how much will it cost? Uh, it's $5 for students and seniors, and then $10 for general admission. Awesome. Thanks so much, girls. We Thanks. hope all you Cerulean's come to the end of the world with prom to follow. That Thanks. concludes our show, Sir Will. We hope you like the Wheel of Decisions, and don't forget, this Friday is Earth Day, so what will you do to help the world? Stay happy, Sir Will. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing for Earth Day? Huh? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I don't think I'm really doing anything for Earth Day. Am I supposed to? Um... um uh, uh, what's Earth Day? Earth Day is an annual event held worldwide to demonstrate support for environmental protection. Here's some ideas on how to help out on Earth Day. Eat organic. Use reusable water bottles. Spread the word about Earth Day. Oh yeah. Turn off lights when you aren't. <laughs> <laughs>